Phnom Penh Nightlife 2024. I don't know where I'm going. This is all very, very new to me. It's a discovery tour. I'm starting down one end of the promenade. Speaking of discoveries, look who I've discovered. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, she is here. Uh, chai, 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 chai. Nam Kang, chai. I can't stop speaking Thai. I just said yes, yes, ice. Nam Kang, chai, chai. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Pathetic. When in Cambodia, how long are you guys in uh, Phnom Penh for? Four nights. This way, it's pretty fucking wild. Your recommendation was we start at Street 104? That's the one. I think all of these streets here that cut in away from the river seems to be the busiest. That beeping noise and the loudspeaker, I suspect, is the like local rangers telling the marketeers that they have to move off the beachfront here. Anyway, we'll continue on to Street 104. 104, we're going to start at. Hey, that promenade is actually quite long, so I've jumped in a tuk-tuk. I really don't know what to expect. Apparently, starting at 104, that's the like the more relaxed street. I'll have one beer there and I think then work my way back to the busier, busier area. We made it, I'll give him a 1,000 tip. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very placid, very quiet, street 104. That is the slightly infamous 104 Oscar bar on the corner. A lot of young ladies and a lot of bars there, not a lot of foreigners. In fact, I feel like I was the only one. So that was a little bit overwhelming. It's early in the night, you know, it's 9 p.m. or whatever. So, so I'm gonna head on over here to the night market, have one beer, bit of Dutch courage, and try to, try to get my solo traveler mm, energy happening. All right. I'm back in a back in a tuk-tuk, I piked. I couldn't do it being the only white person in the street. So I'm just gonna jump all in on street 136 in the hope that there's some other travelers there to take some of the attention away from just me being the only person. I think we're here. It's busier. Okay, sweet success. I found somewhere that looks vaguely normal. A normal, traditional pub, Ostro. I'll have a beer here. Another Cambodia. Yeah. It is quite a new thing for me traveling alone. As I said in the previous video, this is the first time I've been to a country on my own without either a parent, a girlfriend, or a keezy. Frank and Sarah, my friend from Thailand, were here. That was just complete coincidence. I didn't expect that. Um, and they gave me a bit of a pep up, you know, to go out there and do it on my own. It's crazy because I was at such a high level of socializing and talking to so many people I didn't know every single night when I worked at Lupa on Soy 7 in Pattaya. It's a skill that if you don't keep working at it, it it, it, it pulls back a bit, it reduces. While I'm normally an ultra social person, hello. A new environment has, has really thrown me a little bit. Anyway, cheers if you've watched this far. Yum, they're good, lager, crisp. I've just spotted something, that looks kind of cool. A bit of a perch up there. I'm gonna finish this beer, head up there. Look at the lay of the land a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I made it to the top of Ostex 136 Street Bar. I don't know, it's almost like the walking street of Pattaya, Thailand, except that it's a little bit overwhelming. I won't stick the camera in anyone's faces, but there's a string of bars lined up, but then there's all these waitresses, we'll say, like just sitting out the front, not even walking past, just like looking at it from afar. 
It looks really daunting. It looks overwhelming, like... Oh, oh God. Okay, so I feel like Street 136 is designed to remove um, cash from your pocket. I cannot recommend that street. Because there's far less tourism here, there's far less Westerners to waste money, these bars are a lot more hardcore about like milking customers for drinks. I went into one bar just to see if there was like a dance floor. I'm done with that. So my last resort to kind of find a dance floor around here is I think I'm gonna have to find a nightclub. And I jumped on Google and there's one. There's one that sounds like it might be up my alley. It's called Pontoon. Okay, I've jumped back in a tuk-tuk for the 17th time today. We're leaving Road 136 and we're heading to Pontoon Nightclub. Okay, out of Pontoon. Thank you. Hello. Uh, we're gonna call the night quits there. Good dance music, pontoon was great, I can recommend that. It's time for me to go home to bed. Okay, thank you. Ah, two thousand. Two thousand the same. No, not not one dollar. He the half dollar. Oh, okay. Thank you. We're gonna wrap the video up there. Alright, so. This is a shakedown, ladies and gentlemen. Banana pan. Oh my, 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 my. It's good, good price. Thank you. Kop kung kap, kop kung kap. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Welcome to Phnom Penh. Ah. Uh.